Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rings episode 10 of No Guys Life. Okay, so, um, oh god, <laughs> I'll tell you this. I just woke up, like, I want to say about 30 something minutes ago, yeah, about 30 minutes ago, from a nap because I got home at 1. Um, we were doing some other things today and ish, and I only got three hours of sleep, and I desperately needed a nap and stuff. And I, I'm just sorry, I didn't have, I didn't want to sleep late but I was like oh crap like shit I was like I gotta get stuff done but yeah other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode 10 in 3 2 1 go mm. this is what that Holt guy, right? That's it all. Out of all the characters you've seen, all the fact that both has it all. <laughs> and so they're both going to be in this situation, but for two different reasons. Like, oh my god, I can't. He's going to be so pissed at Tetsuro when he. <laughs> No, see, I don't necessarily think Colt might die today. I think he'll be okay, but I don't know. Yeah, and just because you got proof doesn't mean the world wants to fucking know about it. Oh, he's there. He's probably just hiding, too. <laughs> no, don't be... Well, no, oh my god, it's because you're in a trash can. Well, more in a bin. Oh. 
I mean, it's just a sign saying that they're both trash. No, fuck. Mm -hmm. That has to be cold. Cody! Uh-huh. I know, you are seriously going to, like, mm. That has to be gold. Mm -hmm. Kiss it, bro. Yeah, kiss it, bro. <laughs> you know you are, just say yes. What are you gonna do? Put it explosive? Oh my god. Kids. They've been through so much, and you don't know what could happen.
people, you really shouldn't do this. Think about the consequences of what will happen if you do this. Oh, damn it. Oh, fuck. Now, because of it, he has to go on there and set it manually. God. So, in the end, it, yeah, okay, now it's a really big possibility Colt might, oh, damn. <laughs> Colt might die by the end of this episode. And then you'll run away in time? I mean, shit. Tetsuro, how the fuck you gonna fight me? <laughs> okay. That's it all. Cody. I'm not picking you up, puppy. So they're safe now. Oh my god. He's gonna kill all the food. Everyone on the train is standing. You can't stop it though. I fucking told you. Hmm. Mm. 
のWhat the? Are you wearing like a bulletproof vest or something? You are, oh my god. Of course you did. So he's alive. Your personality. Mm -hmm. So fucked up.
Mm, Chris, he ain't gonna say shit. See? This fire force. It'd be like, that's why I ain't surprised that he's like, hmm. Oh well, yeah, he's supposedly dead. Not really. I mean, come on now. But you're gonna end it like that. Cody, oh my god, come here. Okay. I really at the like right when Colt woke up, I was like, okay, you're fine. Good, 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 good. Go to the freaking hospital. Don't go home. Go to the hospital. You need to go to the hospital. You need to get fixed. That's the only way. I was thinking he was gonna be fine. Nothing else. He would have been okay. And then Tessa will come home, and then that was it. He was just a character that was just only supposed to be in two episodes, and that's it. I mean, because, like, yeah, he's in the opening now, but as a pitcher, and it's just, like, fucked up. Because, like, at the same time, yes, I did have a feeling he was going to die in today's episode. But then at the same time, I was like, mm, usually sometimes I'm like, mm, 50 out of 50 right or wrong. And I was like, I bet you I'm wrong, maybe. And then he gets shot, and I'm just like, nope, he's dying today. I was like, even though I didn't like him last week, I like him this week because of the reason of why he was doing what he was doing is because he wanted his sisters to be able to have a tomorrow and see a tomorrow. And now that his sister, not his sisters, he's dead. Is it possible that his sisters are going to have a tomorrow? And the same thing, what about his grandmother? It seems like his grandmother's possibly going to die or something soon enough. Who knows what could happen, but it, it like, because of the fact is it was the wrong train and everything, is, he gonna, is his family going to get money? There's so many unanswered questions with this, and we're never probably going to get an answer about it. Somebody broken? Somebody broken. You got a light or something? Those two. But what would you want? Okay, so we do have a feeling that maybe it's not about to be episode 11. Either between our 11, 12, maybe even 13. Because since this show is, since this and, me and really everything for this last couple of weeks are about to go off or on break until winter is, um, until January officially it starts. I believe that uh, we're going to see Victor. Maybe not in episode 11, but maybe by the end of episode 12. At the end of one of the two. Since we now know he ain't dead, which is not really surprising. Because as I said, they're currently... Uh, like, the whole entire time when I was watching um, the first few episodes of Fire Force before we all found out that show was alive. I was like... Because so many people were like, oh, why are you guys so shocked about like show? I assumed that show was dead. I was like, okay. Well, damn. I never really thought about the fact that show was alive but with this i was like even though you know colt was like i got it off the black market i was like okay something about that's still not right yeah i get the fact that you got it off the black market and the fact is that victor has you know been supposedly dead but then i was like come on he's gotta be alive and that's why especially when dude said victor's name i was like okay i have some parts about the fact that he's alive because it, it's kind of plainly obvious it's just now I kind of really, I've been wanting it ever since Mary has officially said something about her brother. I do want Mary and her brother to somewhat meet again and have a talk because he's been gone for so many years and she needs that closure. And who knows if she's really going to get it. I mean, we have two, possibly, yeah, two more episodes before this show was done for the end of 2019. And then the second half is going to come out next year. And who knows how like the second half of this show is going to end. With Pepper and the other, um, the gun for the head, the female version of him, 
I don't really necessarily know what they possibly want with Judah, but we ain't really gonna know until next week. But still, you, you, you gotta be cautious about these two. I mean, yes, Pepper is officially obsessed with Juzo. I get that, because Juzo and stuff, but I mean, girl, mm mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So now it's gonna be like really weird to get to next Thursday and to see his picture in the opening. And I'm like, damn, you're dead. And I just, I, you know, in in a way, he went out like a hero. He saved those kids, him and Tessido both, and any any other person that was in that train. So many people in this episode could have lost their lives today, but with the help of these two, and with the sacrifice of Colt. No one was able to die today except him, which is really sad. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys especially all next Thursday for episode 11. Bye, guys.